Too many Mooney apologists will point out to the fact that we've gone up one place in the table to 15th. 15th, yes, that's uh, pretty exciting, except it, it really isn't. And I'm afraid <coughs> those City this afternoon were taking on the team 23rd in the league, uh, only two points away from home all season, only four goals away from home all season, and Rotherham United, 23rd in the table, made us look like the 44th team in the table. Absolutely dreadful, Birmingham City. Uh, for some reason, they left our best player out uh, until the second half, uh, Jordan James, who was the one outstanding player from Wednesday night. But we decided to leave him out and we create nothing. Absolutely nothing. Um, we were extremely lucky that um, their forward line looked like a forward line that only scored four goals in the last 25 games or whatever it was. Uh, they um, they got presented with the ball more often than, than they could possibly have imagined. Poor old John Ruddy. I don't know. I mean, he was shocking on uh, Wednesday. Uh, and he was even worse today. Uh, he, he was dropping balls that he should have he should have gobbled up. He was passing balls to the opposition. Uh, one 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 of which um, uh, left left their their centre forward clear with an open open goal with only um, uh, Sanderson alone on the goal line, and he managed to hit him, uh, and the ball got scrambled away. There was another one um, where, uh, in the first half, Ruddy, Ruddy dropped the ball and the bloke headed it onto the crossbar when it would have been easier to put it in the net. Uh, and a, a great volley late, late on, which, to be fair, uh, Rudd's made, made a decent save. I don't know what's wrong with him at the moment. He looks shaky. He looks tired. He looks, you know, he's, he's getting on a bit. Maybe he needs, needs to sit down for a bit. Um, Positives, well, you don't get any points for that. But positives, we kept a clean sheet. How we did it, Lord only knows. Um, we lost, we lost Lang, early doors, uh, and Trem, Tremay comes on, and and he's 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 a decent defender, but going forward, he hasn't got a clue. Um, ironically, he brought a decent save out of um, th their keeper late on, when we looked like we might. Um, we might force home the winner. Uh, getting back to Jordan James, who didn't start, when he came on, the whole attitude of the team changed. He he went forward. He passed. He passed solidly. He passed. He passed to us. That was that was that was unique. The way the things are going. I am really, really, really glad that I didn't spend. 60, 70 quid getting to there on, on, on the train and watch it on Blues TV. I just, I, I'm lost for words how bad it was. I am lost for words. Our front strikers never looked like breaking past their statistically poor defence, but it, it was, it, it never broke sweat. It never broke sweat. There was, there was just nothing for our front players to latch on to. No crosses of, of any any note. Um, we we sent we we sent on um, Jukovic for uh, um, <laughs> our centre forward Burke, uh, who had done zero for an hour, absolute zero. He could have sat on the bench and it wouldn't have made, it, made any difference. And we could have played with 10 men. In fact, we did play with 10 men. He was shocking. We got we got the old man on uh, and he caused he caused a bit of a stir. And um, in fact, had the ball in the net, was just caught offside. But where do we go from here? We can blame the manager, we can blame the owners, we can do this, do that. But at the end of the day, I mean, I I I watched I watched the Leicester Leicester Albion game on before before this came on. 
and it was like like a different world now it's it's only six or seven weeks ago since we we give, we give the give the baggies a pasting now they were unfortunate to lose today and leicester didn't didn't play that well for them but they both played a hundred times better than we did and, and it's it's not acceptable now we go back we 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 go back to the manager what is he doing what is he doing Okay, Sheffield Wednesday picked our best, best back four we've got. Two great four backs, two decent centre halves, and we won the game. So then on Wednesday, he changes it. And then when he gets the chance to change it back to what it should have been, he changes it to something else, which we've never played before. Okay, we went back to our proper back four this time, and it's. And they played they play like they've never seen each other. Really and truly, I, I'm, I'm trying, trying my level best not to get into this Rooney in, Rooney out nonsense. But he is showing nothing, nothing as a manager. We have not improved. We've got worse and worse and worse. Uh, wonder coaches weren't even on the bench today. They weren't even there. What were they doing? Looking at the opposition. Well, the opposition for next week played this morning and they could have watched that on the television if, if, if they really got any interest. They should have been there. Now, we, we had the great Tom Brady there watching on and <coughs> Tom Wagner. And I, if, if, you're, if you're listening to this, loves your presentation, but it don't count for nothing. We got one point today, didn't score a goal. Now, you can put all the 10 year promises you want. Uh, oh, we have a wonderful, great to see the, uh, the the seats back in the in the cup. Yeah, it was great to see them because there was no arses on them. That was empty. Now, it doesn't, it, it's not important. I would stand on the spine cup with people running over my shoes to watch a winning team. I'm getting old now, and so I probably would regret regret it if I if I was actually given the opportunity to do that. To do that, but when I was when I was a younger man, I didn't care. I didn't care what, whether there was any pies, whether there was any beer. I could, if I could get, I used to drink. I used to drink in the cricket club. I didn't have to come to the match for the for, for, for to drink or eat. Or, or, or sit. You know, I stood up and I cheered my team on, and they gave they gave me, they gave me my money's worth. Now, if I'd if I'd have paid to watch today, which I did because my season tickets in me, in me is is up there, uh, not used because of the train business. They 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 owe me twenty quid. And that's that's eight pound I paid for, for for getting in, and eight pound I miss for I I miss by heating the house up while while the match was on. Shocking, absolutely shocking. Now, uh, where do we go from here? Where do we go from here? We can't afford, uh, and the EFL won't let us replace what we have at Christmas time at, at during the uh, transfer window because it would it would take a hundred million to 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 give us get us a side that we would be better uh, than what we see today and 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 give us a a challenge on the top as I said I watched Leicester and West Brom in the top three before today and they weren't that good they weren't that good but they were miles and miles ahead of us now then it's going to be uh back to tilt and talk on a monday this week um i might i might i might have a rant who knows but tune in anyway uh look out for my uh 
written Watteau's weekly uh, in the middle of the week as we as we we go towards the um, <laughs> the local derby. We're now in front of them. Would you believe Coventry are one point one point behind us after the day, uh, and yet. Does anybody think they were going to let go there and wipe the floor with the opposition? I don't think so. See you next week. God bless you.